My mum became ill over Christmas and unfortunately died on New Year's Eve. As a consequence of trying to find numerous documentation such as birth certificates and so on, we came across all of this documentation that was hidden away in cupboards, in wardrobes, in drawers. Um, we knew nothing about any of this, um, started to look into it and it became very apparent that it was a number of scams um, that were very much designed around taking money from the mother which she was sending off on a regular basis. Um, from the 29th of November to the 17th of December she paid out £960 in postal orders that had then been sent off all over the world. Um, this has had a very traumatic effect on the family obviously from the point of view of the sudden illness and death of my mother over the Christmas and New Year period to then having to deal with this. Um, as part of this as well there's a number of telephone calls that we've um, taken while we've actually been here which appear to follow up a lot of the letters trying to coax more money out of her. Following that then I've notified the police and um, the National Fraud Intelligence Bureau have been involved. I think Jessica campaign has been extremely helpful in terms of understanding how large a scale this is. Um, and, and it's, it's estimated us that the bank accounts, when I went to close those, there was nothing in them. She was overdrawn by over a thousand pound in one, the credit card over a thousand pounds on another. And bearing in mind, my mum was 81. So I didn't expect anything like that. She used to have savings um, and that's all gone. There's also notes in amongst this lot whereby a prudential policy was sent off to one of these scam companies. Um, and there was nothing even left for, for anything to contribute towards any funeral or anything like that. Um, and it looks as though my mum was sending on a regular basis typically around about a thousand pound a month